Good morning, world. Today is uh, January 5th, 2024, and um, just got a short video here for everyone. Uh, there's a very good moral to this story. What you're looking at is a traitor, uh, your enemy. Um, a snake in the grass and but at the same time even though he is all these things he can be, be he can actually be a very good friend let's listen to him real quick and uh, then we'll get to the point The news that you're about to hear is going to be fresher than Bill Clinton likes his girls. It's going to be shorter in duration than Stephen Hawking likes his girls. But what we are going to bring you is daily information about exactly what's happening around the world. Now, I do want to tell you that there's a lot of distraction happening right now. We have seen these files with names on them and who was doing what. Very illegal acts, very immoral acts, very bad things against very young people. These things have happened. It is now getting out into the open. Back in like 2014 or 2016, the uh, president to be at the time, Donald Trump, had warned that there were going to be some very powerful people, some very important people with names on a list, things that they were doing on a specific island or with specific people. That was going to come out into the light, and here you have it. It only took, what is this now, four, seven years later, eight years later? It only took eight years, and that's a cycle of news redirection that I want you to be aware of. They will let you know that something's coming, something's bad, it's happening. They'll let some time pass, they'll remove it from the mainstream, and then they'll reintroduce it in the hopes that you and me, the very dumbest of us all, according to them, will forget about it or not care so much. But what we have is irrefutable, very evident acts of immoral, unjust. Irrefutable, irrefutable. He, he's saying that this information is concrete solid because the government that he doesn't trust is giving you this information giving him this information see this goes back to the whole chemtrail thing a lot of people use uh, the their fact that the government has documents about chemtrails so they use that as their backup but how are you going to use the how are you going to use the sources information that you don't trust and and just for for your to help your cause trust them for that and that goes for this as well this guy mr prepper preppers don't trust the government so how are you going to sit here and say that these this list is irrefutable on the money? Because he's a prepper. He, he doesn't trust his government, but he trusts these documents that they're putting out for everyone to see. Give me a fucking break. And downright criminal things happening. We know that very powerful people out there are in positions to exploit that power. And there is a little bit of, I guess you would say, I don't even want to use the big C word here, you know, the big, uh, the big onspiry word. But we do know that some reported evidence exists that says the Pope was there. What was he doing? Oh. That says some other very powerful people were there. Now, a lot of people, especially on the right side of media, they came out and they said, you know whose name weren't there? Well, Donald's Trump name wasn't on there. Donald Trump's. Uh, they said, you know who else wasn't on there? Russia's president, Vladimir Putin. You know who else? The Turkish president. Now, let me tell you that very bad things happen in all of these circles. Just because they weren't on here, this might have been one. It's like bars on a corner. <clears throat> oh, 
the whole point of this is that he can be your friend. And I'm going to tell you how. This guy can be a very, very, very good friend and a very good source of information. How? Well, I'll tell you how and, and why he can be a very good friend to you. Because everything that comes out of his mouth is nonsense. So when you know that everything that comes out of his mouth is nonsense, you know what the agenda is. You know what they're pushing. You know what the truth really is because whatever he's saying is garbage and the opposite of what he's saying is probably going to be the truth. So, uh, what was that saying I heard the other day? Um, something about how a friend, you, you always learn from a friend whether it's a good one or a bad one. Something like that. I, I forget how the saying went, but it, basically that, that um, no matter someone is a good friend of yours or a bad friend, they're, they're always a teacher. Because you learn from, like, perfect example. You learn a lot from this kook, this traitor, because we know he's full of shit. Anyone that claims that they believe the story of the towers, the, the mainstream story, uh, anyone that claims that, you know that that you just can't trust anything they say, even if they honestly believe it. If they honestly believe it, that just tells you how stupid they are. And so you can't trust a word they say because they have no brains. But this kind of guy, he's just claiming that story because that's what he's told to claim. That's what he's paid to claim. So, as long as you don't get caught up in like this list story and get your emotions involved in shit because it's a ritual you'll be fine so yeah you can watch this guy and learn and learn from him the complete opposite of what he's squawking so I think I've covered my I think I've gotten my point across so uh if you can understand and see what is really going on with this uh, winner here, I don't know what to tell you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.